Hey guys, it's your girl Fairy Queens here and welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. Welcome back to the third episode of my Moon School walkthrough. Today I have a few people with me. We have Neela Boom, we have Sabrina Summer, Devin Dream Dreamer, and this is Dream Dreamer, right? Okay, Autumn Titan and Diana Moonbloom. So say hello to all of them. I was actually just in the comments and I was getting a stitch together when these girls recognized me and I told them that they could be part of the intro. So say hello to them, everyone. <laughs> Today I plan on starting and finishing Cyclops Lane and then tomorrow I will be starting and finishing Firecat Alley. Oh, <laughs> they are so sweet. You're welcome, you're welcome. So that's that was the Candy Girls clan, I believe. I think that's the name of their clan. You guys should definitely go check them out. They make really cute music videos, and obviously I've gotta support that because I love fellow Wiz editors. So today we are starting Cyclops Lane. We are going to start it off by talking to Sergeant Muldoon. Here we go. There's a kid on Cyclops Lane named Nolan Stormgate. You should talk to him. He sounds like he's in trouble. He's dealing with the giants there and has been asking us to send students. Better go see what he wants. So here we go, going to speak to Nolan Stormgate. Why is his name Nolan Stormgate whenever he's a myth wizard? Can we just talk about that for a second? Does that make any sense, King's Isle? I do not think so. What are you doing here? Only talented wizards like me should be out on these dangerous streets. Your name doesn't even make sense! Think you have what it takes? This place needs real heroes. We'll see if you can make the grade. Let's see how useful you are. Professor Drake put me in charge of a very important mission. Magical artifacts from the old death school have resurfaced. I've decided you're going to recover the one inside the spooky dark cave. Every other student I've asked has been too afraid to go, so I'm hoping for better from you. Battle everything in the dark cave until you find the ruined skull. Man, you are really bossy, Nolan. Very bossy. So do these port me to the area that I want to go? I don't think so. Oh yeah, no no no. We're just gonna we're just gonna walk. Ooh, it is so pretty here in the dark cave. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Wow. I cannot believe how pretty it looks now. Oh my gosh, the sky- oh, It's because we're in a cave! Oh, that makes sense. I was gonna say the sky looks really weird, but, um, we're in a cave, so yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> my friend Diana is going to be tagging along. She is also trying to do the Moon School Polymorph Challenge, so that'll be interesting. See, she chose a Ninja Pigs where I just chose the Gobbler. And I haven't actually polymorphed into the ninja pig yet, so I don't know what that one offers. Ninja slice. 100 death damage and 25 to the next spell. Ooh, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna help her out by using my taco toss, aka throwing up again. I do have a lot of polymorph TC, but I haven't used those yet because I just kind of want to save them. Ooh, look, she got a power pip. I don't think the gobbler actually gives any power pips, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. Obviously, different polymorphs are gonna offer different things. So like the last two episodes, I will be cutting out a lot of the mob battles, unless I have something important to say, but I mean, nobody really wants to watch mob battles, and I'm not gonna force you to. You found the rune skull? Huh, faster than I could have imagined. Professor Jake will be pleased with me. I told a few students to pick up death relics up the street. Now they're nowhere to be found. No doubt gabbing instead of working. Can you look after the students on the slim, slim chance that something's happened to them? I'd start with the trolls. They look shifty. Yay, we are now level 8! So now we have to start with the lumbering trolls, and I think I'm gonna cut out some of these battles, but I will get back to you whenever it's completed. Come here, little troll. And this is why the Cat Bandit is such an OP polymorph spell. You literally get Tempest at level 8. That's crazy. So now we have collected this. It didn't take that long, actually. It literally only took one battle, so that wasn't that bad. Um, and now we're going to go talk to Nolan again, even though I really dread talking to him because he's just so mean. What is this? A letter? How odd. Trolls can't read. 
by the handwriting of Cyclops wrote this, they never dot their eyes. It's addressed to M, whoever that is. I should take a look at it if students are in danger. Great fire, Bats! The Cyclops have kidnapped the students! Oh, good thing you found this. We must act immediately! I hope they're not gonna blame me for those students getting themselves kidnapped. I know! I'll inform Professor Drake at once. He'll know what to do. When I tell him how those students got themselves kidnapped while I was... On second thought, I think you should go tell him. I'll stay here and... Keep an eye on those Cyclops. Ha ha ha, you are so funny. Marking my location and porting to talk to Cyrus Drake. My professor, even though he's not really my professor. Oh, by the way, I um decorated my room a little bit. It's definitely nothing that I want to keep, but I did decorate it just a little bit because, you know, moon and stars, I am Mindy Moon. What do you want? Professor Drake sneers at the ransom note. Here, take this message to Victor Darkwood, the robe shopkeeper. Be quick about it. Time is of the essence here. I never really understood this part of the quest, and even though I'm paying attention to the storyline, I still don't understand it. What does this mean? Why is he telling me to talk to his dry cleaner? Ah, a message from Professor Drake. <laughs> yes, yes, I've been expecting you. You'll need to hurry back with this. The shopkeeper retrieves a large sack and hands it to you. Here you go. Professor Drake's laundry. Freshly cleaned and pressed. And don't let it drag on the pavement now. Well, okay? That certainly took you long enough. Professor Drake shakes his head at you. You're still worried about those missing students? Yes, well, this is definitely a problem. Take this message to the headmaster. That should resolve things to my satisfaction. I'm still a little bit lost, not gonna lie. Why didn't we just go to Headmaster Ambrose in the first place? Ah, young wizard, it's good to see you. You have a note for me. Let's see it. The headmaster reads Professor Drake's note. I will not expel you from the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts, regardless of what Professor Drake thinks of you. He's just mad at me because I'm so advanced for my level. You are not responsible for the problems on Cyclops Lane. General Achilles and his men promised to drive out the trolls. Now, Achilles has gone back on his word. I fear there is something more sinister behind Achilles' change of heart. This M is to blame. We will need to know more. M for Morganth, right? Drake is of no use here, but you have been most helpful. Go back to Nolan Stormgate and help him straighten this out. I wasn't expecting Professor Drake to leave everything to us. He must really trust me. Professor Drake is expecting big things. The Cyclops General Achilles wrote the note, so we need to reach his keep. But to do that, we need a gate pass. Maybe... can you steal one from the Warhorns? All you have to do is defeat some. Yeah, that should be easy enough. Oh, you guys, the Warhorn quest. This one takes forever. Literally forever to collect. Probably one of the worst defeat and collect quests in this entire game. I'll get back to you when we're done. Look how OP this is. A Stormblade with a Tempest and a Power Pip. OP oh my gosh, and a Critical, you guys. This is so OP. I'm shook. <gasps> Dude, 1300 damage. Oh my gosh. Well, that didn't take that long. I collected it. Back to Nolan we go. I think they may have increased the drop rates. You got the pass. Great job. I'm glad I thought of that. With your magic and my brains, we make an unstoppable team. Okay, here's my plan. Show your pass to the guard, Romulus, outside the keep at the end of the street, and he'll let you in. He's not too bright. Then you must challenge General Achilles in combat. Cyclopses are honor-bound. According to the Cyclops' code of honor, he can't refuse to fight you. See where I'm going? Even if someone is telling Achilles to hold the students hostage, once you defeat him in battle, he will be honor-bound to free them. All you have to do is beat him. Shouldn't be too hard, shouldn't be too hard at all. I believe there is a teleporter over here. 
Here we go. This is new, by the way. This was not always here. Oh, uh, well, you don't look like a war horn to me. But, uh, this pass looks good, so I guess you could go in. He's very smart. You hear a girl's voice off to your left. Help us, please. We're held here by General Achilles. Electra Stormcloud. Now, why can't we have names like that? What? You are here to rescue these students? That I cannot allow! I am honor-bound to keep them until I'm told otherwise. But if you were to defeat me, I would be honor-bound to free them for you. If you want their freedom, you will have to fight me for it. And mind you, as general, I will put up a good fight. Not against me and my polymorphs. And Baron Von Sammy, of course. I also just noticed that I resist, which is really, really good. I didn't know that polymorphs came with resist, but like, it makes sense because as you saw, the cat bandit had critical chance, so I guess we just kind of come with our own stats. I'll tell you one thing though, the polymorph gobbler is really a tank. So far, it's had the most health out of every other polymorph that I've seen. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Don't mind me, just throwing up my taco and throwing it on you. The Draconian looks so cool though. I would say so far the Draconian's probably my favorite. You have defeated me, brave wizard. So I must honor your request to free the students. My master will be angry that I let them go, but I must obey the Cyclops' code of honor. Go now, they are free. So who is your master, General Achilles? Thank you for freeing us. We were starting to believe that no one was coming to help us. Oh my god, girl. This angle is not for you. Thank goodness you showed up. No telling who would have come to rescue us. This angle doesn't make sense either. It's like I'm looking straight up your nose. I thought at least Professor Drake would have come looking for us, but he didn't. Thank you for coming to our aid. Well, you're welcome, Rosie. Let me get this straight. The Cyclops were holding the students hostage in order to bring chaos to Wizard City? But who would make General Achilles do such a thing? I'm sure Professor Drake could figure out who's behind this mess if he wanted to. Too bad he's always so busy. Always so busy and he can't even pick up his laundry. We should tell the Headmaster how we saved the students, especially my plan to sneak you inside the keep. Still, I have to find those artifacts for Professor Drake. After what happened, I shouldn't let anyone else do it. Would you go tell the headmaster what happened? Tell him how you were able to save them due to my brilliant planning. I'm sure he'll reward us both. Okay. I don't know if this is the end of Cyclops or not. I think it is. I remember Cyclops being really short. Do 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 do. Time to talk to Merle Ambrose. Do 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 do. Quite a daring rescue. I'm glad that you were able to save the students. It bothers me that someone could force General Achilles into a sinister plot against Wizard City. I suspect that M is Malister himself. Oh my gosh, you're so smart. I literally thought it was more Gamp. I completely forgot about Malister, you guys. Oh no. It seems obvious that this is another of Malister's plans to throw us off his trail. With all the wizards busy here in Wizard City, Malister feels free to carry out his ultimate plans. Hopefully, we can catch up with him before then. Keep up the good work. Nolan seems to have warmed to you. Perhaps Professor Drake isn't far behind. Okay guys, so we just finished Cyclops Lane, but I did notice that there's a quest that we forgot to do. Speaking of issues concerning Malister, one of his favorite students, a boy named Duncan Grimwater, has been tackling a ghost problem over on Triton Avenue. Can you inquire as to whether he has heard anything from his old professor? We need to know if Malister has been contacting former students. So, the headmaster's still worried about Malister. If you ask me, I think Ambrose needs to quit blaming Malister every time something goes wrong in Wizard City. Malister Drake was such an inspiring professor. Most consider him to be the greatest necromancer of our time. He understood life's limitations and strove to face them unafraid. Ambrose has suggested for me to stop practicing the death arts. He even suggested I give life a try. Ha! But I keep studying on my own. 
Maybe one day I will be as powerful as Malister. If you want to find out more about Malister, maybe you should talk to an old friend of his wife. You have heard what happened to Malister's wife, right? No? Oh, if you're interested, go talk to Gloria Crendel in Old Town and ask her about Sylvia Drake. Those two women were close. She could tell you more. And also she's moved because she used to stand right up here and now if she's all the way down here, what are you doing? You want to ask me about Malastare's wife, Sylvia? Oh my, yes. I knew her very well. She taught the life magic class before Mulinda Wu. I sure miss her. What happened to her was such a shame, poor dear. Madam Crindle becomes forlorn as she relives the sad memories. Say, there is something you can do for me, child. Would you go find the scrapbook Sylvia and I made together? It would mean a lot to me to have it back. I'm not sure how, but Sergeant Skull Splitter has it. Uh, could you go to his tower on Triton Avenue and get it back for me? I think for this boss, I'm gonna go ahead and try a different polymorph. Let's take a look-see. Um, we have a lot. I think I'm gonna try Polymorph Elemental. This should be interesting. He looks really nice. <gasps> Look at that! I get Meteor Strike, Firestorm, Phoenix, and Heckhound. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. I'm gonna do Heckhound. And if you look at my pips, I actually have a power pip with this transformation. So I think that the Gobbler is just really, really unlucky whenever it comes to power pips. Critical? Is that a thing? Okay, apparently not. <laughs> <gasps> but she just criticaled. That's really good. <laughs> Why am I so good? <laughs> now that we got the scrapbook back from Sergeant Skull Splitter, I think Gloria will be really happy to see it. Well, she better be, because I just wasted 2,000 gold on a transformation. You were able to get the scrapbook from Sergeant Skull Splitter? Oh, good. I was so afraid it was lost forever. It contains all my memories of Sylvia. Madam Crindle begins to thumb through the old scrapbook. Now let's see. Ah, yes. Sylvia had such a wonderful laugh. It was so sad when she got sick. She got a nasty cold and wouldn't get better. They tried everything to heal her, but nothing worked. Imagine the greatest life professor being struck down like that. She was dying and that was that. Poor Malastare couldn't stand it. He broke his heart having to let her go. He was never the same afterwards. He withdrew from his colleagues, even from his brother Cyrus. Well, thanks for bringing the scrapbook back to me, child. I am forever grateful. Dang, that's really sad. Oh, 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 this looks inappropriate. Why is this in Wiz? This looks like a bundle of something that you are not supposed to be smoking. Well, anyway, guys, this concludes episode three. We finished Cyclops Lane and we learned a little bit about Sylvia Drake. In the next episode, we will be doing Firecat Alley. So if you want to see that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.